Alright guys, welcome to another episode. Today I'm exploring a smallmouth stream in North Arkansas. I'm about 30 minutes from Missouri. It's a small stream. I've never been here, don't know nothing about it. The first four places I went to were all no trespassing. I had to look up a fifth spot and go with it. Let's see what happens. Looks pretty promising. I just had a fish right there. Didn't take long, guys. He's right there, I just seen him. There we go, I finally got something. It's a green sunfish, guys. No wonder I'm missing a lot of them. Now, I've seen two of them were smallmouth, though. It's just the, the ones I'm never setting the hook on, this is why. That explains a lot. He's a fat little guy, I give him credit. Beautiful little green sunfish, anyway. And I'm on the board. Big old fat one. Uh, well, it's gonna hold it. And that backfired. Alright, guys, I finally hooked into a smallmouth. He's not the size I'm after, but it is the kind I'm after. He's about 10 inches. So far, it's not, I'm kind of disappointed in the creek itself. It ain't got enough water, like volume. It ain't got enough water rushing through. You can't hear the water. That's usually a bad sign. It's just maybe too small of a stream. I'm not saying they're not in here, but they're, I think they're gonna be small like this. You never know though. So I'm gonna keep trying. I already wasted the time to come here so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep at it and see what happens the up man now that's what I came after at least that size now I know there could be bigger even I was way wrong on this creek it just took a little work to really get into him he's 12 inches anyway all right, buddy. All right. Yes. On that Barbie suicide chat, what a nice smallmouth. Oh, now my confidence is up and things may turn around. See, as I get, as I go downstream, guys, I'm getting closer and closer to the river that this goes into which is the Spring River in Arkansas. So, it's bound to get better as I go down. I was actually thinking about that earlier. Now that's a nice small mouth. I need to find a dry piece of land, get me a good photo of this guy, and get him back in. I was starting to doubt this place, guys. I was kind of getting discouraged right before I caught this guy, in fact. I was getting really discouraged. I 
was starting to be that way anyway. But, as you can see, I finally got a decent one. I knew right away as soon as I set the hook that he felt different. That's not a mad small amount. He's a full 12 inches anyway. Heck yeah. Beautiful. Finally got on smallmouth number two. Or was it three? Yeah, three. Another small guy about nine inches. There was another one right by him too. Very shallow. I'm only in two and a half foot deep hole. Definitely not the one I'm after, but it is a fish. Might be that other one there. Maybe he's bigger. Guys, this little raccoon is right here. He's scared to death of me. He just stared at me. It's okay, little buddy. He's the one that was just born this year. He's so cute. He's scared to death. Come here. It's okay. Yeah. Come on. Come here. Oh yeah, there we go. Finally, come here, buddy. Yes, I got him. I hate pulling him on the gravel. I know it's bad for him, but I'm tired of losing fish, guys. Another 12 incher. Heck yeah. I just need to get me a nice goggle eye. It sure would be nice to get me one of those shadow bass in here.
Now they're nice small mouth. Yeah, he's 12 inch. Not a bad fish. smallmouth it's just not very big he's only about seven inches it's really pretty though not the one I'm after but I'll take him because it is a fish oh he's a pretty one This is a nicer fish, I think. Yes, it is. He's fighting. Oh, man. Could it be decent? Could it be my biggest of the day? No. But it is an 11 anyway. A nice fish. And my lure's already tore up, I think. Yeah, he might go 12. They love these pink pulsars, guys. And it's not tore up. I can get another fish on it. Not a bad fish. Not, not big, but it's not bad. Not a bad fish. Pretty decent. Hopefully these numbers, I'd like to get one goggle eye and at least one nice largemouth bass. But I really want a smallmouth that's three pounds. It's just so hard for me to get one. I don't know why. All right, guys, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try a five inch Pickle Grub by Callan. Never tried them, just bought them. Let's try it. It's an awful big bait for here, but maybe I'll catch the bigger fish. I think my next move is the uh, Yum Crawdads, rubber crawdads on a jig head. We're going to see what that does later. Right now I'm targeting the bigger fish in the holes. Oh yeah, there we go. That didn't take long. Yes, it's getting bigger fish. My theory was right. All right, the tickle tail grub for the win, guys. In fact, it's my second biggest one of the day. Freaking awesome, man. Yes. 
Still not the one I'm after, but I'll take it. Guys, I'm impressed with the tickle tail grub, I must say. That didn't take long, did it? I should have brought both packs, I only brought one. I only got eight in a pack, but that should last me through the day. Left one in the car. There's that tickle tail. It's a big old grub. I don't normally use five inch, but I'm starting to use them because I'm, I'm learning that you do get the bigger fish when you use the bigger bait. All right, let's get back. Got to admit. Oh yeah. Another 12. Eleven, at least an eleven. Tickle tail for the win again. Eleven inch. <laughs> 